Hi, my name is Zakarin, and welcome to my self-empowering podcast. Today's subject is entitled, uh, There is Only Well-Being and Abundance. There is no such thing as illness. There is no such thing as disease. There is no such thing as limitation. They are not real. There is only well-being and abundance. So stay tuned to this podcast, and I hope you get some really amazing insights from it. Hi, my name is Zakarin, and I help success-minded people create the happy, happy, abundant lifestyle you love. In my podcasts, articles, and videos, I reveal the master keys of success, business, money, leadership, relationship, and the law of attraction so that you can create and attract to yourself the happiness, health, wealth, abundance, and freedom that you desire. Woohoo! If you like this podcast, please like it and comment and share it with your friend, friends, and please check out my self-empowering products and services at Zakairan.com. That's spelled Z-A-K-A-I-R-A-N.com. So, if you'd like to receive, and if you'd like to receive my free book and video series, "The Master Keys of Success and Freedom," to help you create more fun, money, and freedom in your life, go to FreeKeysOfSuccess.info. All right. So, uh, welcome again to my podcast. There is only well-being and abundance. There is no such thing. As illness. There is no such thing as disease. Lack and limitation are not real. Illness and disease are not real. There is no such real quote unquote thing as disease because the only thing that that really is really real is well being and abundance. This is a universe of well being immense health, and unlimited abundance. It is not a universe of decay, illness, and limitation. There is no such thing as illness, disease, or even death, for that matter. There is only allowing or disallowing wellness, or allowing or disallowing health, well-being, love, and abundance. This is not a universe of assertion. This is, it is one of inclusion and allowance. Disease does not assert itself upon people as allopathic medicine and humanity tends to believe. Everything is attracted to you based upon your vibration, based upon your thoughts and your beliefs. In a similar vein, there is also no such thing as quote-unquote healing. When someone attracts and develops a disease, and I emphasize attracts, because they have been pinching themselves off energetically from the stream of wellness, it is not possible to assert healing or wellness upon them. What can and does happen is a vibration is created or a belief is adopted whereby the person who is quote unquote ill now allows the stream of well-being to be their primary reality rather than the belief that illness is their primary reality. It is obvious that medicine and healers do not and cannot assert their healing upon people because of the fact that some people with the exact same affliction become well again while others waste away and die. Why does the same medical or naturopathic treatment or whatever work on one person but not another? It is because of their belief in that treatment and their ability to focus more now on their health rather than their ill health. That's why Jesus said something along the lines of, if you believe, you will be healed. The same principle applies to anything in life. There is no such thing as lack. There is only prosperity and abundance. And allowing that prosperity or disallowing that abundance. The same goes for goodness, love, and so-called evil. There is only goodness and love in this universe. There is no such thing as evil. 
There is no force of evil. There is only allowing or disallowing goodness and love. There is only allowing and embracing love or pinching yourself off from it. And even in the most supposed, quote-unquote, evil mind, in their mind they believe they are doing the right thing. For them, their so-called evil actions are to achieve some goal. And that goal is always to feel better. Because as you can imagine, when someone does something that we would determine as being bad, wrong, or evil, they are in a massive amount of pain. And their quote-unquote evil act is designed to make them feel better. More often than not, they feel powerless and want to feel the relief of empowerment, even if that takes the guise of violence and aggression <clears throat> or revenge. <clears throat> All anyone is ever looking for is relief from their pain. All anyone ever wants is to feel good and to feel better. So, with that in mind, every single person's intentions are always good. Every dastardly deed that everyone does is just to feel better, to get a little bit of relief from their pain. The act of infidelity and so-called ch cheating on a lover is only to get some temporary le relief from whatever pain they were feeling. I know for me, when I did it, it was... To receive, to receive a bit of sweet relief from the strangling oppression and imprisoned feelings that I was feeling, from the constant judgments and demands put upon me by my girlfriend. <clears throat> and the sweet relief and the freedom I felt was truly exciting and joyful. <clears throat> Of course, the aftermath was even worse oppression, but that's another story. <clears throat> My girlfriend was only projecting her insecurities upon me and wanting me to act in certain ways so that she would feel better because of her disempowering beliefs. <clears throat> her oppressive tendencies were not evil or bad or wrong. She was just she just wanted to feel the sweet relief of her feelings of unworthiness and powerlessness. <clears> the <throat> point is no one does anything because they are actually mean or bad or evil. No one. All any any all anyone ever wants is to feel good. Every evil quote unquote evil deed that people like Adolf Hitler or Joseph Stalin and uh, ever did, or even, you know, the, say the terrorists, uh, every act, every motivation of the dictator, the thief, the rapist, the molester, the abuser, etc., every single act that they do is to feel better. Of, of course, unless they understand that and can continue to go up the emotional scale to get themselves to a much higher vibrational emotional states unless they have an epiphany and finally surrender to their natural state of goodness and understand that their dastardly deeds were done to feel just to feel better to feel some relief <clears throat> unless they realize that they are suffering from feelings of unworthiness and helplessness and uh, powerlessness, uh, unworthiness, etc. Um, and unless they understand that those feelings are not real, but adopted and taught to them, unless they realize that their natural state of being, unless they realize that their natural state of being is goodness, love, well-being, prosperity, and we all create our own realities, based on how we think and feel, <clears throat> and that there is no such thing as a victim, unless they understand that, they will just keep going up and down the emotional scale from helplessness to powerlessness, 
uh, and unworthiness to the sweet relief of revenge and a temporary feeling of uh, of empowerment to then feeling guilty and ashamed and then back up to anger and revenge and back down to again to guilt powerlessness and unworthiness etc in a continuous loop of low vibration a low vib, uh, continuous low vibrational cycle <clears throat> so to get wherever you want whether that's health prosperity love etc you've got to learn how to allow the stream of well-being and abundance to flow into your life if you have attracted a disease that means you were disallowing well-being so you must now get back to your natural essence of well-being and start allowing well-being into your life again you must learn how to focus your natural state of health and stop focusing on your alleged disease and in a similar vein uh, for whatever you, you want you've got to stop focusing on your lack of wealth and lack of love and lack of relationship etc and focus on your natural state of abundance and wealth and your natural state of immense joy love and amazing relationships easy peasy lemon squeezy and focus is the absolute key <clears throat> Become a master of focusing on and feeling for and allowing and enjoying the feelings of being, doing, and having what you want. And you will have these things in your life. And focus not upon the lack of what you want, but appreciate the lack of what you want and how it has caused you to now focus upon more pleasing things like what you do want. And having what you want. Remember, you are love. You are health. You are vitality. You are youth. You are vi you are uh, longevity. <clears throat> you are goodness. You are everything divine. You are prosperity and abundance. You are a creator, and your purpose is joy. Your purpose in life is to have fun and create wonderful things. You are free. The basis of life is freedom, and you are free to create whatever you want, good or bad. So, why not have fun? Why not get rich? Why not have amazing relationships? Why not make life an adventure? Why not make your life one big, long, non-stop holiday? You can if you allow the stream of well-being and abundance in your life. And you don't have to prove your worth to anyone to receive these blessings you are worthy beyond description but enjoy feeling that amazing and natural self-worth by aligning vibrationally with your desires and manifesting those, those desires into physical reality and then marvel at your amazing powerful creative abilities now <clears throat> go and be well go and be abundant go and be loved go and be rich go and be free go and be joy go and be fun go and be adventurous go and be courageous go and be amazing go and be the amazing creator you are and make life a holiday thank you for listening to my podcast and if you got something from this, please share it with your friends. Tell your friends about it. Send them a link to this audio. Please check out my self-empowering articles, books, audios, and products, as well as the coaching, support, and guidance that is available to you to become a conscious, deliberate, and divine creator of reality on my website, edzakiron.com. And if you'd like to receive my free book and video series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom, to help you create more fun, money, and freedom in your life, go to freekeysofsuccess.info. If you'd like to learn how to travel the world at 20 to 70 percent off and how to make extra money anywhere in the world with your phone watch my free video the secret to traveling at wholesale prices at makelifeaholiday.com please visit my facebook fan page at facebook.com forward slash sakiron page my name is sakiron and i help success-minded people create the happy abundant lifestyle you love thanks again for watching or listening to my podcast and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And remember to make a life a holiday. Woohoo!